Hi. Um, hashtag United. I think you should do a bit of um, world praise or world appreciation to Ukraine right now. Before your next game, I think you should have yellow and blue uh, in respect of the people where and, and in the local community you probably got people who are Ukrainian, half Ukrainian, who got a loved one or, or, or someone who's related to a friend who's probably in Ukraine right now. That's firstly. Now Jesse Ulla Larson um has been out for a while and to be honest um, he could be up for five more games and he could still be top goal scorer. He's sort of scoring a rate which the rest of the players. That's absolutely ridiculous. All these players are good enough to play for hashtag United right now. Personally, eight goals as a top goal scorer for the club at this stage of the season is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> top goal scorer at this stage of the season should be 13, 15 goals at this level. No offence. And they should have two players going for the and going for the award of uh, reward is as level for to a goal scorer. The third goal scorer top goal scorer needs to be only five behind, five, six, seven only. They still need to have like eight. <laughs> so anyway. So you have, if we're far off what we need to be, defensively actually survive. But uh, you know what? We should be. We should have beaten Sudbury three 0 Um, we've got so much to get better, and we we're not improving. And you know, the best we're capable of should be a platform, based basic performance, basically. Not this rubbish. Not this mess. We, if our, if if we got players who could have to pay for this club, why we're not? Doing way better than we're doing. Um, to be honest with you, I think we should be top two. I think we should be top, full stop, to be honest. And club wise, we need the players to get us there, and you know, we don't. And we need those players because who can do this? Because how many followers, how many subscribers we have on YouTube? How many people do we have to not forget? We've got people from Australia, Canada, um, South Africa, probably. Um, to not for matches. Just to go to a hashtag match. And how much should be how much money and time and everything for if I came from Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Canberra, Perth? Or even New Zealand, Auckland, Christchurch, um, Wellington, and not watch a hashtag good performance. You boys need to sort your shit out because you, if you think you're good enough for hashtag United right now, you must be joking. Because some of you are just not good enough to play for this club. And this is gonna be brutal because this is gonna be, this is how it is. Um Yeah. We should we should be talking about going for promotion, we should be talking about how soon as people can steal the title. And how much more do you need to buy next season? And how many do you need to sell? Well you could sell five or six players, seven players of what we've got. And um look at getting two or three from the academy program. What we know we've got a hashtag. The competition to be a graduate from the academy, don't we? Look at that to improve that. And to improve the players. And look, I say make two winners from that from that situation. From these um, academy situations and um, programs and everything. 
competitions, whatever, to, and you've already got them four signings to get, why not? It's not impossible. It's mad to think it's impossible. And it's madder to not try, make effort to be better. But, um, if you had anyone in that part of Essex who's got any link to Ukraine and you always good enough, buy them up. Buy them. Because appreciate what, what they are. They're just great human beings and show Russia some shit. Um, obviously, at any time, I'll do it now more. Um, and that conflict is, I don't know anyone from Ukraine, I don't know any relation to Ukraine, but it's touched the nerve one or two times, you know. It's unacceptable that scumbag Putin would do that. So, yeah. And by the way, boys and girls, the women's the women watch this. I watch hashtag. Um, good luck to you. I, I know the ladies can also up their performances on a consistent basis as well. Not just the men. I know. I know the girls can. I know what they're capable of. I don't think you can't create so much. And this is, I think, of the men. To be honest. You can create, what, 30 half chances, um, 16, 18 full good chances, and you have, what, none on target and you still don't score a goal, you just got to score 4 or 5 at this level, day in, day out, game in, game out. You can't be drawing and stuff, but you should be beating the teams. Third, fourth, fifth. No, he's in second, hopefully. Obviously. Um, and the ladies, you should be better. You should be doing better. You should be scoring more goals by now and conceding less by now. Um, if you're good enough to play for the ladies' team, show it because otherwise you got the same situation as I say with the men, right? The way you, the system is, it's for good goals, to score those are goals, and to also um, clean sheets. And I think we're still studying the game and the system, to be honest. Men and women, I think. Girls can score. I'm surprised that girls could have scored 10 more goals by now this time of the season, not 15 goals more, right? Men, I watch men's highlights more. Don't get me wrong, but I, I I love watching women's highlights as well. But every time I watch women's game highlights, I get frustrated. Oh, you're sure, with men as well. So um, look, I love women's football. I love what the Lionesses have done. Beat Germany, should be Canada, should be in Spain. Um, incredible. Um, it's something about special about watching women's football. I really love. And um, the men need to improve. Have a, have a lot more as well. Um, but actually, to be honest, I don't think the women need to improve so much more. Just be clinical. I think the men, you, you also be clinical, of course, but be more imaginative, imaginative, creative, and just maybe play more positively. Um, you know, I could say the same for both. Um, but I'm trying to make this up. Be, this has been political. I hope you've made a good job. 
I appreciate everyone's time watching 10 minutes me blab around again as I do. Um, this is for you. And I think people need to see this. I'm going to share this on people I know. A hashtag in our football club. And I also share this with a few people I know. Who are in England for six months to a year or something. Um, so yeah. I think it's a thing for future co-workers. I think it's the thing we should spread. Started on YouTube, what, eight years ago, was it? And, yeah. It's definitely something that should spread throughout YouTube, throughout the internet. Hashtag United Football Club, who should by now have double viewers and probably double um, subscri subscribers. And I think also, Hashtag United Football Club, what they need right now is... They've got, they got exception. It's insane how good. Um, we are doing it level. I to be honest, would not be surprised if had another what well, hundred and no two hundred fifty thousand subscribers if we're top of the table. So yeah, thank you, anyway. I'm out. Um, I hope this video made sense. Um, I understand what I'm saying. Hopefully, you did as well. Um, yeah. Thanks, anyway, people. I'm out. B bye. Next game, I'll probably put a review. I should do it every game. I should review it and say how it is. Um, Devs is doing a good job. He's understands his frustration and anger when you can't do something logical and basic, but improve significantly. Platform performance, the best you play for the season. That's the platform set for the rest of the season. Any game worse than that, shit, shit take loose. Right, I'm up. Bye, thanks.